Everyone looked at her, there's no hope for this kid. Don't you know people like that? It's just so bad, won't come to school, always argumentative, always fighting. It's always something going on. Parents can't control them, sneaking out at night. And some of the kids I dealt with did die, were killed. They themselves that, that don't even watch the videos long enough to get the substance because the majority of what you're looking for is not at the beginning. It's usually in the middle to the end. Has everyone always told you what you couldn't be, what you won't be, how sorry you was, you were? Have you heard those things? The state senate office is will be vacant in 2022, so that's on my radar too. But this 16-year-old girl, who I thought was out of control, there was no hope for, you know, we don't know what others see in us, but we do know what we see in them. There's greatness in all of us. There is greatness in all of us. Since many of us are homebound right now due to the pandemic, what jobs are there in the future? You don't know how I see you. I don't know how people see me, but I know how I see them, how I see you. You too can still fulfill your dreams as long as you are breathing. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. That's the basis of my channel. Hi, this is Robert Wilkins, aka Basketball Tall. As you notice, I'm sitting in my car today and I thought to bring something to your attention because I've been asked, what is your channel about? Is it about career choices? Is it about politics? Is it about God? What is it? Well, let me clarify something. When I first started out in my former career, which I recently retired, I brought from my career, I thought to create a channel, a, ta a channel to address an important need that's in our society today. And when I did, I had kids and families in mind. Now, what do I mean by that? Most kids had no idea what they wanted to do with their lives. They was just floating through. When I would ask, what do you want to do with your life? What do you want to be? The, mo the majority of the answer would be, oh, just get a good job. What type of job? Then I would have to break it down, you know, whether you want to be a teacher, whether you want to be a fireman, whether you want to be a doctor, whatever it may be. So... My niche is more geared in that direction. But then again, I've had others to tell me, hey, politics, you know, you're considering running for political office in the near future. That's where you should be. But then again, you know, in my former career, I was engulfed in politics basically because when you're involved working with judges who are in an elected position, this district attorney who is in an elected position, the sheriff who is in an elected position, and just around attorneys in general who all went to school to study the law, you find yourself engulfed in law because it's all about statues. And, and so I've had some to tell me that's the direction I should pursue. Then again, in my former profession, you know, uh, people would talk about God. And then they'll see their behaviors, whether they're delinquent behaviors or out of control and the parent family's dysfunctions. That was an avenue as well, even though I never brought it up. But somehow, when people talked about God, it led in that direction. So, when I look at what I do now, when I think about some of the questions I'm being asked and which I thought to bring to you, that my channel was first built with kids and families in mind. And if, if you've noticed, if you watched any of my uh, shows, my recordings, you notice it has a lot to deal with career. If you notice, I've had, I've had program managers, I've had entrepreneurs, business owners, 
uh, whether military, whatever, coaches, educators, and I have a whole host more coming of all professions and different races because we all fall into the same category. We all want to be happy, we all want to be loved, and we all want a better paying job. But for so many, they have no idea what, what's out there actually. Because recently I interviewed uh, a gentleman by the name of Chris Pyle. I had no idea the transportation industry was so large and so lucrative and so many outstanding jobs. Because when we think of transportation, what do we think of mainly? Truck drivers. Then again, we didn't think about railroad freight. We didn't think about uh, air travel, uh, shipment for us, you know, on the ocean and so forth. And no one ever talked about these type of jobs. So that's why I decided to bring those people to you to give you some insight and some knowledge and maybe inspire you to make all. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. And then again, there are so many jobs that are coming about in the future. And I'm trying to educate everyone about those career paths. According to the news uh, Gallup's, uh, Gallup poll, it says that 85% of the people worldwide dislike their jobs. In the United States, it's about 70% of people dislike their jobs. So you can imagine uh, when I visited with kids and families, the majority of people hated what they did. The parents themselves fell into that same old trap. No one ever talked to them about uh, their dreams, their goals. What do you want to be? What do you want to do? What does it take? What do I have to get from, from A to, to, to B to accomplish my goals? What is it that I need to do? Guys, and I find that based on analytics data, analytical data, that most people when they watch YouTube videos only watch anywhere between four and uh, seven minutes. Because if it's not something of interest, they'll just skip through it. Even though they don't realize what I'm bringing to them is a value. They themselves that, that don't even watch the videos long enough to get the substance because the majority of what you're looking for is not at the beginning. It's usually in the middle to the end. And we turn off before we miss our blessing. And I brought some valuable people. I'm going to bring you more valuable people. Why? Because there we, we have a tendency to always look on the national stage. We have a tendency to always think about, you know, the musicians, the movie stars, uh, people of that magnitude, pro athletes. Instead of we miss the leaders, the professionals, uh, the local stars right in our own communities that can help us get where we need to be in life. Let's face it, 99% of us are not going to become uh, on the national stage, but we can achieve more on the state and our local stages. And that's what I'm doing. I'm bringing you substance and material that can help take you there. You know, most people fall into that same mindset. Now, what do I mean by that? Because the majority of people are working on jobs that they hate. Do you hate your job? Why aren't you listening and watching my channel? I'm bringing people to you of different professions, not just that, it's the things they say. Sometimes it can be their story that led them in the direction that where they achieved their goals. But when you only just tune in for a, a minute or two, then tune out, you missed your blessing. My channel is to bring you substance, is to bring you insight, is to educate you, is to give you the inspiration and the motivation you need to take that step. You know, we don't know what others see in us, but we do know what we see in them. Think about that. You don't know how I see you. I don't know how people see me, but I know I, how I see them, how I see you. So, sometimes we wonder, well, I'm not good enough. I don't have the skills. Oh, I can't sing like him or her. I just can't do it. I'm not smart enough. Not knowing everything we go through, you're trained, you're, you know, we can learn pretty much anything. 
but how willing are you? How willing are you are you committed to take that step? Are you committed to make that decision? I had a lady that I used to work with by the name of T.C. Johnson. And she said, Robert, you do you. What you have is for you, and no, no one can say it and bring it uh, to the people like you. So I got to think about that. We all have something to bring to the table. We're all valuable in some sense. We all have something, and only you can deliver it the way you do. So thank you, TC, for that. Because it had me looking at it a little bit different. Because sometimes, think about this. We don't like the sound of our voices, do we? Many of us. We like the sound of someone else's voice because that's what we like hearing. But then again, someone else likes our voice. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> think about the uniqueness that we all bring to this world because we all brought something to this planet that was unique. We're all different. None of us look alike. And there's, it's amazing. Well, too many of us, we get defeated and stop in our tracks because we don't think we're capable or we can when you actually can. You know, we all have struggles. Some of us have more than others, but we all struggle. We all have challenges. We all have struggles to some degree and we'll all overcome our struggles whatever they may be. Do you believe that? What you believe, you're definitely right. Whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. What I'm trying to do, or what I'm doing is providing a road map for you. Because the ones that I present to you, if you notice, if you listen to them, you will notice there are common factors in what they're saying. Whatever the profession may be, they're basically saying a lot of the same things of success to getting where they where they started from to where they are in life. But are you willing to listen? Go beyond that five minute mark because, oh, I'm not interested in that. I want to be entertained or you look for something else. And meanwhile, are you happy? Are you happy where you are in your profession? And not just that, speaking of professions, since many of us are homebound right now due to the pandemic, what jobs are there in the future? I'm going to bring you some and give you some ideas on that. So stay tuned for that. Since I am a new channel, my goal right now is to achieve 1,000 subscribers. Not, not long ago, I went through a YouTube training to learn how to do all of this stuff as far as when it comes to my channel. Uh, it's a very powerful tool to have. And when I went through the seven day challenge, a training, uh, online training class uh, through Think Media, what I realized is some folks can look on the outside look thinking, oh, he's not growing fast enough. But then again, we all heard the old saying, yard by yard is hard, but inch by inch is a cinch. And I noticed I'm inching my way to my goals. Will you help me? To achieve those goals by subscribing, by hitting the like button, by hitting the notification bell. Why do I actually do that? Because YouTube have algorithms uh, built into its system, like everything now for social media and marketing and everything else, have the algorithms, you know, that uh, determine what you want, what you like to look at, and so forth. So if you don't hit the like button, the notification bell to subscribe, you know, it doesn't help your purpose. And I have a ton of friends that will watch my videos, but never subscribe or hit the like button. So therefore, you're not helping me achieve the goals. So I'm calling on you, my friends, my future friends to be, press the subscribe button, press like, press the notification bell, and help me reach 1,000 subscribers. So just imagine with that number where it can take us. Just imagine the voice that you could have. Just think of the potential that we can have by subscribing to my channel and the impact that we can have on America for whatever the direction, whatever the niches that I have to grow my channel, to inspire others, to let everyone know that 
Whatever it is that you want in life, whatever it is that you think you can't do, I'm telling you that you can do, but are you willing to make the commitment? And if you would just listen to some of the videos that I've already have, and check out my channel, check out my catalog. You can just go to, right in YouTube, you can go to uh, Basketball Tall, Robert Wilkins, and you can see my entire catalog, which is not a lot of videos right now. But as going through my training and think media, like they said, it may take you uh, uh, 100 videos, it may take you 500, it may take you 1,000 videos to achieve your desired goals. But I know I will achieve my goals because right now I do have people that are with me in this process. And it will multiply eventually because it only just takes one video for things to just launch out of nowhere, out of everywhere. Let me ask you something. What are your goals? What are your dreams? What are your desires in life? What are your hopes for the future? Where do you see yourself in the next year? Maybe next five years. What are you doing to try to make that happen? Are you seeking the right information you needed to help you make an informative decision? Sometimes, I've said before, we don't know what other people see in us, but we do know what we see in them. I say that because all too often, a lot of people get written off in life. People look say, well, there's no hope for them or her, he or her. You know, it's just so bad, won't come to school, always argumentative, always fighting. It's always something going on. Parents can't control them, sneaking out at night, using drugs, alcohol, you know, inappropriate sex and so forth. They're, they're teenagers or parents come in, I can't control them, want you to do something. You know, then they themselves not living right. And the kids are just duplicating what they've always seen and learned from home. Home is where it's at. But is it too late? It's never too late. I say all of this to say this. Listen to this story. True story. About a dozen years ago, a girl and her mother came to my office. I retired December 1st, 2019 was my last day. I no longer work with the state. But this mother came in with her daughter and uh, the school couldn't do anything with her. You know, she was disruptive in the classroom, never did her work, fell in and everything, 16 years old. Parents couldn't control her, sneaking out of the house at night, rendezvousing with boys, young men, men, 16 years old. She was just out of control. Everyone looked at her, there's no hope for this kid. Don't you know people like that? You think, oh, that's a lost cause. Or oh, that, that kid's going to end up prison or dead someday. I've dealt with a lot of that. And some of the kids I dealt with did die, were killed. That was just the nature of the business I'm in. But this girl, who seemed was hopeless, using profanity in my presence, in my office, toward her mother, just totally out of control. And all I did was got the kid to dream. What do you want to do with your life when you grow up? You're not going to be a child forever. Pretty soon you're going to become an adult. Then what? Are you preparing for it now? Has everyone written you off? Do you feel you are a lost cause? Has everyone always told you what you couldn't be, what you won't be, how sorry you was, you were? Have you heard those things? And then sometimes we live up to it, don't we? But this 16-year-old girl, who I thought was out of control, there was no hope for, I had talked to her about me going to Louisiana Tech University, and sharing with her that Louisiana Tech was only just a couple of miles from Gramlin State University, an all HBCU school. And if you're African-American in the United States, we all know where Gramlin's at, right? And Louisiana Tech University is only a couple of miles away. And I share with her when I went to Louisiana Tech, I share with her how I had to go to a reading lab when I was in junior high. How I felt like I was one of the dumb kids. I shared with her how I was poorly, couldn't function well for us, you know, when it came to math, when it came to English, you know, and how I had to repeat that. And I end up later on writing reports that judges and lawyers read. Isn't that amazing? 
So all I did was talk to her, got her to dream about what she could become, what she could do. If she was willing to do this and that, but most importantly, commit to it. Lo and behold, years later, I'm in Walmart. I see this lady waving her hand, trying to flag me down from a far distance. And you know how it is when you see people. Oh no, <laughs> that was my thinking. And uh, she came up to me and gave me this humongous big old bear hug. Thank you, Mr. Wilkins. Thank you, Mr. Wilkins. Why did she thank me? She told me about her daughter. I can't tell you her name due to state confidentiality laws. But she told me about her daughter, how she went to Louisiana Tech, how she got a degree, how she got a job in New York, and was thanking me. See, that's the business I was in. That delayed gratification. Think about the joy that I got from that. Knowing that I had an impact in someone's life. And then not just that, two weeks ago, I saw the same woman, she gave me a report and told me because her other daughter had gone to Louisiana Tech, got a degree and lived in New York still to this day. The daughter behind her ended up going to Louisiana Tech and now lives in Houston in the medical profession. You see how that domino can fat, effect can take off? How we can break generational curses? What well, seems like generational curses? That's the basis of my channel. But what I want you to do is tell me what interests you. I want to hear from you. Let me know what it is that you would like to hear me talk about. Because I was in the insurance industry. I was a police officer. I was a district court juvenile officer, worked for the court, the judges, in which my jurisdiction was five counties in the 20th Judicial District in the state of Oklahoma. I was a child welfare social worker. Oh, stories there, wow. And a juvenile justice specialist in the state of Oklahoma, basically kind of like saying juvenile probation and parole, juvenile officer, as well as a district uh, supervisor for the remaining nine of those years. Tell me what you would like to hear me talk about because I do have aspirations to run for state office as well. The state Senate office is, will be vacant in 2022, so that's on my radar too. But let me know what you would like to hear me talk about. But please, if you like what I'm saying here, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Help me reach 1,000 subscribers so we can just explode this thing and we'll be in this together by you subscribing to my channel you are part of this group but i need your help because i can't do it by myself the only thing i could do is bring you good quality content and from there share it how else when anyone knows what i'm doing what i'm talking about how it may be able to affect them how it may be able to affect not just their families but people they know but i need you i need your help because there's greatness in all of us. There is greatness in all of us. No matter where you are in life, if you're a child, if you're an adult, you too can still fulfill your dreams as long as you are breathing. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You're going to have to make a sacrifice. you got to make a commitment. But can you do it? Yes, you can do it. I did it. When someone said, don't waste your time in it. He's too uncoordinated. He's too weak. He just doesn't have what it takes. But I have one person who believed in me. One person, Coach Sidney Smith, and told me what I could become if I did this and that and committed to it. And I did it. And the foundation for all successes, no matter whether they achieve to be a teacher to becoming a multi-millionaire. If you listen to what others are saying in my message, you will see a common theme. You will see a common denominator. And if you grasp that, you can change your life too. Thank you. Please subscribe. Let's get to a thousand. And let's see where we go from there.